Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly, and uh, for today, I'm basically going to be taking you through a last minute reading for the index numbers. I won't go into details, but it's a matter of you getting the basics, and you'll be able to apply them uh, onto your paper. So, with the index numbers, this is a statistical tool for indicating change of the data, that is a price, product, sales, etc. between two periods of time. So with that, we get to have categories of uh, index numbers, and uh, we have three major categories, that is price indices, which measures changes in some of the price characteristics uh, that is to do in the consumer price index, uh, and the consumer price index. Then we have quantity indices, which measures uh, changes in some of the volume qu um, characteristics, uh, that is uh, industrial production index and then value indices which uh, change in some criteria of value that is to do with uh, inflation inflation rate so we are having some basic steps this is basically like my summary for the price index as a last minute trading as i'm going for the paper so we're having steps followed in uh, constructing uh, index numbers so some of these are uh, purpose of the index uh what what is it being constructed for the action of items to be included in the index this is to do with a uh, peak uh, uh like pick a, a, a sample from the basket of goods then we are having choice of the base here then you uh, uh I, I mean choose choice choice of the base here then choice of the weights then determination of the formula so having known that you go to the methods methods of constructing of constructing index numbers so with this we are having so with the methods of constructing index numbers we are having the unweighted indices method and the weighted indices method so with this you can have a, a like an illustration of it to simplify to simplify things we are having the index numbers and with the index numbers we are having the unweighted and the weighted and under unweighted we get to have the simple aggregate of price and then we get to have the simple average of price relatives so with the weighted we get to have the weighted uh, aggregate of prices and then with the uh, uh, still under weighted we get to have weighted average of price relatives so having known that we go to the unweighted unweighted index number so with unweighted index numbers we get to begin with our simple aggregate of price method so with this it is denoted by uh, p01 which is equal to summation of p1 uh, divided by summation of po so times 100 so with this it is the summation the p1 is the summation uh, the summation p1 is the total of the current year prices for the various commodities and uh, summation po is the total of the base year prices for the various commodities so having known that if i told you to draft a table and draw it it will look like this you have your commodities units and then now uh, this will be the price for the for the commodities this will basically will be the base year price and then this will be the uh current year price and that is with sim simple aggregate so moving on to simple average of price relatives uh, it's going to be the, uh, similar to the one of the simple simple aggregate but in uh, with the simple average when they say average you will just come and divide by n so p not one is equal to summation square square brackets p1 divided by po times 100 divided by n and n represents the number of commodities so if i told you to do a table same commodity you need having your p not p1 and then you get the summation of this you get the summation of this after that you go to the price relative which will be P1 divided by P0 times 100. Then you make sure that you get, uh, you, you multiply the P0. You, you, be, uh, you, you, you get to uh, say like P1 out of uh, P0 for each commodity that you'll be having. Then you get the total summation, which will be summation of P1 out of P0 times 100. So having known that, we go to our next index, which is the weighted index you get in the weighted index number so with the weighted index numbers uh, we're having the weighted aggregate we're having the, the weighted aggregate of price index so with this 
we get to use la les les Paris method which they are which have uh, uh abbreviated here like to do with uh, like a base of something and then we having passages method which is to do with uh something to, to do with the current i'm going to show you why i have uh, used base and i have used current so we're having the features which will be like a combination of the first one the last pairs and then uh pass chase and then uh when we are to do start with the last fa last pairs last pairs method uh to do with like a base it will be like dealing with the price index it will be i can call this lpop01 uh, which is equal to the summation of now I get first begin with this p1 summation of p1 then I go to summation of p naught and then what will since I'm having p's I'm having a p here and also having a p then uh, the corresponding thing which I'll do will be q's so I'll go to to I'll go and I look at q's but with q's remember I'd say last Paris it's to do with something being a base so that's when you come and say let me, I'm going to deal with base quantities and so this is what i did base here quantities which is qo and qo so time was 100 so that is an easy way of getting this formula whereby p1 represents the price of the current here p0 represents the car uh, the qua the the quantity in the base here and pra and p o represents the price in the base here so having known that you can draw up a table because you first uh, you yeah you make sure that you know the formula so that you can be able to draft a table and you know what you will be looking for because now you'll be having your p naught q naught and uh, maybe oh, you can have a p1 uh, the q yeah, the q1 you can either have it or not depending on the formula which you're going to use so that uh, when you go to this formula you, you will know that i want to find p1 p1 and q naught so this is uh for for the start i'm going first start i started off with the downer one which is p naught p naught and then i add i get the summation of the p naught p naught and then i go to P, P P one Q one and then I get the whole the whole summation which is P one Q one which is this. So having known that, I can move on to purchase index and for purchase purchase index, uh, it did something is to do with current. So I'm going to do the same which is P. I can call this PP which is summation. No, I told you I me I start with summation P one, and then I go to summation P O after this i say q1 q1 because something is current so this is to do with the current here quantities so with purchase purchase with purchase index you get to know that something is current and since i have done the piece i obviously get to do the q's and there will be of current here quantities so Having known that, you can come with a table, commodity, PO, QO, P1, QO, and then from this formula, I get substitute, I, I find my PO, Q1, and then summation it, I sum it up, and even P1, Q1, I also sum it up, and then I apply into the formula, then I find purchase index. So having known that, uh, we are, then we get to have the Fisher's ideal index. With Fisher's ideal index, which I've called FP, is always equal to the first one the square root of the first one which is uh let's paris uh let's say let me see then. yeah the first one the first one here uh let's paris pair let's pair as method this first one and then time was the purchase method which is the second one so i just combine the two formulas which is this the first one which was here uh, this whole formula here I come and I copy and paste I drop it here and then time was the one of purchase purchase which is this I come and I drop it here hope you have taken uh, took a note of that so when you're dealing with this you first deal with the square root first before you multiply the 100 so you multiply this uh, times 100 after you getting the answer you solving for this so having known that then we are having the weighted average of price relatives so with this uh we can get to uh, they can get to call it in the exams the weighted average of price relative index or consumer price index or cost of living index so this is the formula which you will be using it will be a summation of this whole thing which will be p1 divided by p o times 100 uh brackets then p o and then q o divided by a summation of p o and q o so having done that you'll be having a, like a 
a column of commodity q o p o p1 and then you get to create a column for p p1 divided by p o times 100 and then you also get to create another column of p o and q o then you find the summation you will find the summation down here and then after that you get to multiply this column times this one and it will have a separate column which is the summation uh, which is a summation of uh, the, the the p1 divided by p o times 100 and then brackets and then p o then q o so you get this whole summation after getting this whole summation it's what you would drop here and you already be having this summation of p o p p q o which is which you drop here and that's how we deal with that so looking at the quantity of volume index numbers so we are going to be using our less pairs method purchase method and even features so i told you with less pairs you something is having a base and here it took something to do with the current somewhere in the formula so when i'm dealing with less pairs method i have quantity index which is q01 of l or l which i've called lp which is equal to the summation now this time around i begin with the q's and i'm having q1 and q0 so uh the something which will be corresponding to the q's will be a p so i'll be having p but p when it is a what something which is to do with a base that is less pairs which is a base which is po and po times 100 so here i'll be using base here prices and it, i'm having my formula here for last pair you have uh, to do with the quantity index so i can have my table having this whereby i'll need to determine my q1 and p p p o which is the summation of q1 and p o which is equal to that then i have the q o and p o and then which is equal to summation of q o and p p o so having known that i'm having the purchase method which is q01 or pp which is equal to summation of uh, q1 and times the summation of p uh, of p1 no oh, i told you well, since we're having the prices we begin with our quantities q1 and q o then something is current and already having p so you go to the corresponding which is a uh, we're already having Qs, so we go to the corresponding, which is like the Ps. So I'm having my P1 and then P1 because something is current with pastures that time was 100. Then with features, it's always a combination of the first one, which is last fairs method times the pastures method. So you just copy and paste, which is my PL. PL was this. PL was the whole of this. Then times the whole of this. Which I come and I just drop here. Then I first deal with the bracket first. Then time was 100. And I'll be good to go with that. Then still under this weighted. I'll be looking at the uh, value index numbers. Which is value index number. This time around. I'll be having a summation of P1. Q1. Summation of P0. P0. And with that I'll be done. Thank you so much guys for listening in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I wish you success in your paper.